Hey planner friends, it's Ashley. Today we are going to be planning inside of my social media planner and I'm really excited for this. Now I've already went ahead and I've done some pre-planning and I've wrote out my filming and editing schedule for the week and what I'm posting to YouTube each day. So I got all of that stuff ready to go and the stickers I'm going to be using are the Squad Life and the Squad Goals sticker book. And I have two of the Squad Goals sticker books pulled out because I've used a lot of stickers out of both of these and sometimes it takes a combination of two for me to get the spread that I'm going for. This planner here is my social media planner. It is a dashboard layout and it is from the Happy Planner. Now unfortunately this specific dashboard layout is sold out, but I will link to all of the Happy Planner's dashboard planners down below in the description box if you're wanting to check these out. It is perfect if you are looking for a planner that is not only functional, but also gives you the space to decorate and make it super cute. This is my favorite layout for that. Super functional, but also plenty of room. Now over here on the left side, I am adding a shopping list, which is something I usually don't do inside of this planner. But I do need to pick up some stuff for some giveaways that I've been doing over on Instagram. So listen, if you're not following me on Instagram, I will have my profile linked down below in the description box. Make sure you're following me because I've been doing giveaways and you can totally enter in for those giveaways. I have a couple of more left, so be watching for those. But in the shopping list box, I put down that I needed to pick up some shipping boxes. I also needed to grab some packing tape. And then I also need to get some more printer paper so I can print out the labels for the winner so I can send them their packages. When it comes to pre-planning, I normally don't use sticky notes on my weekly pages. Now, I will use sticky notes on the monthly pages to pre-plan out my month, but not usually on the weekly. What I usually use is the social media planning inserts from the Happy Planner, but I use them all and they're sold out, so I don't have any right now. So I'm kind of in between on my pre-planning process as far as how I'm going to pre-plan for the week. I really love those social media sheets. I love the way that they were set up. I could see the entire week for each, for each section. So I could see the week for Instagram and then the week for YouTube all on one page. Honestly, I've thought about creating my own and then I can just print them out each week and I'll have them. So I don't know. I'm just kind of in between on the pre-planning situation right now. But until I figure out my process, I will be using sticky notes. And once I figure out how I'm going to pre-plan for social media for my weeks, I will update y'all on that and I will make a video about it. So the little dots that I'm putting down, they have stars and hearts on them and I'm putting them down and those will be where I write out my Instagram posts for the day. I always like to use some kind of icon or flag or dot sticker that I can use to note what I'm posting to Instagram each day. And then this box here that I'm putting down for Monday is actually going to be for what I'm filming for Monday. And I like to keep day specific tasks on the right side. So the things that I need to accomplish on Monday go under Monday. Same thing for the rest of the week. Now on the left side of the dashboard layout, I, I usually like to take the top two sections where it says errands and to buy. I take those and I retitle those. So the ones that says errands, I use that for YouTube and I will write out what videos are going to be posted on what day. And then the other one, I will retitle it to where it says to do list or like get it done or priorities or just something, something fun like that. But I retitle it and that's just a general to do list. So those are things that can happen on any day of the week. Now I have a question for you. Let me know down in the comments, would you be interested in seeing a video of how I actually plan out social media, not the sticker process. Like this video, I'm showing you how I set this planner up, what I'm using the different stickers for, 
but would you like to see a video of how I actually plan it out? So how I'm planning out social media posts, how those work together with my Instagram post, and then also how I use what I'm posting to YouTube to let me know my filming and editing schedule. If that makes sense. So it's more of the actual how of planning, not just decorating and getting my planner set up for it, but the actual process that I go through whenever I am planning out the week. So let me know down in the comments if that is a video you would love to see. I would be more than happy to make it. Here's where I'm covering up where it says errands. This will become the section where I write out what YouTube videos are going to be posted on what day. And then here is where I'm covering up where it says to buy and this one's going to be my general to-do list for the week. Now for the brown sticker that has the coffee cup and it says remember underneath of it. In that sticker is where I'm going to put our topic for my team call. I've mentioned this before but I am a health and fitness coach and I have a team of incredible people and uh, each week we have what is called a team call and we all hop on a Zoom together. Sometimes we talk planner stuff, we talk fitness stuff. Um, actually, I just got off of a team call with my girls and we was talking about the one habit that we are going to focus on the most in January. And so that's actually what I wrote inside of that box sticker was what our topic for our team call is going to be for the week. So here I'm just putting down some of these little stickers that say today and I'm honestly kind of doing this for a little bit more decoration over here on the right side. I know that for this week other than for Monday, it's not super duper busy. Monday's a little hectic. Mondays are usually really busy for me. Um, <laughs> I'll be honest, on Mondays I'm usually trying to catch up on the things that I didn't accomplish over the weekend. I kind of do it to myself but anyways that's that's totally beside the point. I'm just putting down a few of these little today stickers for decoration and then uh, I'm decorating over here on the left side. This pink little house is so stinking cute and I just love it. And then you have the little deer and the snowman. I think it's just a cute little, a cute little scene going on. Here I'm putting down a couple of these cute little to-do flag stickers. Now I did those on the opposite days that I did the today sticker and I should have done three. That would have balanced it out because that would have given me three of the to do stickers and three of the today stickers. But where I put a box down for Saturday, that box that has a little house in it, I didn't want to add a to do sticker to the left because then I wouldn't have had any room to write down my to-do list for Saturday. So I ended up leaving it. I think it turned out fantastic. But for me, what I like to do when I'm planning is balance things out. Now usually I do it to where what I do on one page, I do on the other page. But with the dashboard planner for me, I do it a little bit differently. Technically what I do on the left page, I don't always do on the right and vice versa. Because actually for me, the left page is a page that I can decorate a little bit more and the right side is where I'm a little bit more functional. But if you wanna create balance in your planner whenever you're putting stickers down, you can totally do it page by page and not have what you do on the left, you do on the right. Like you could totally make the right page a little bit different than you do in the left, especially with the dashboard planner. But it's totally up to you if you feel lost in your planning style. I promise if you stick with it, you will figure out what works for you. But also, I have a video that's coming up on how to actually decorate and use the dashboard planner because I've heard from many of you that the dashboard planner is intimidating and listen I totally understand because it was for me when I first started so I'm gonna make that video giving you some of my tips for how to use the dashboard planner how to decorate it and kind of how to get started with it so make sure you are subscribed so you can see that video when it comes out I hope you have an incredible day my friend and I will see you in the next video